Hello everyone, I'm AJ Peter and you're watching AJ News TV. Tonight, we bring you the latest on Team USA's track and field star Noah Lyles, who competed at the 2024 Paris Olympics under extraordinary circumstances. Despite testing positive for COVID-19, Lyles took part in his final event, the men's 200-meter final, with unwavering determination. In an interview with People on Sunday, August 11th, Lyles shared how he approached the challenge. He said, Let's try and keep this as normal as possible, reflecting on his experience of competing after contracting COVID-19 in the past. At 27 years old, Lyles was confident in his ability to perform despite the virus. He stated, I was made for moments like this and I've trained all my life. He emphasized the importance of seizing the moment, knowing that nothing is promised tomorrow. Lyles went on to win the bronze medal in the men's 200-meter final on Thursday, August 8th, just two days after testing positive for COVID-19. He mentioned that as long as he was cleared to compete, he was determined to tackle the challenge. On Sunday, Lyles shared that he was feeling a lot better, although he still experienced some lingering fatigue. He told people that his girlfriend, fellow Olympian Junelle Bromfield from Team Jamaica, reminded him of the toll COVID-19 had taken on him, especially after winning the 100-meter race while still recovering. Lyles also revealed that his symptoms included fatigue, aches, chills, and an aggravation of his asthma. After securing the bronze medal in the 200-meter race, Lyles was escorted off the track in a wheelchair. Unfortunately, Lyles was unable to participate in the men's 4x100 relay final for Team USA due to his health. He later announced on Instagram that he would be withdrawing from any further events at the 2024 Olympics. Team USA faced additional challenges in the relay final, where a baton handoff error led to their, to their disqualification. Lyles expressed understanding, acknowledging the immense pressure athletes face at the Olympics. He noted that with the crowd so loud, it's hard to even hear your own thoughts. It's challenging to prepare for such a big stage. He explained that with him stepping back due to COVID-19, the relay coach and team had to adapt quickly to the situation. Lyles concluded by saying, it does suck and everybody's gonna have an opinion, but trust me, everyone is truly trying their best. As always, we salute the resilience and dedication of our athletes. I'm AJ Peter and this is AJ News TV.